So today in front of us, we got 250 times 187. And once again, to excel in math, you will need a very sharp pencil, good penmanship, and graph paper. So here we rewrote the problem on the graph paper. And the first thing we do is we take 7 times 0. The answer will be 0. Next, we take 7 times 5. That will be 35. We put 5 on the bottom. And the 3 we carry over and put on top of the 2. Next, we take 7 times 2. That's going to be 14. Plus the 3 on top. And that's going to give us 17. And we write both digits right up here. Next, we put a 0 right up here. And then we take 0 times 8. The answer will be 0. Put it right up here. We then take 8 times 5. The answer is 40. We put the second digit, the 0, underneath the 7. And the 4, we bring on top and put it on top of the 3. Cross out the 3 as well. We don't need it. We then take 8 times 2, which is 16, plus the 4 on top, and that's going to give us 20, and both the digits, the 2 and the 0, we write up here. Now, this is where 90% of the problems happen. We have to add not one zero, but two zeros. So, one zero goes up here, the second zero goes up here. And then we take 1 times 0 will be 0. And we put it right up here. 1 times 5 will be 5. And we put it right up here. 1 times 2 will be 2. We write it right up here. We then add up all of the numbers. And so we always start with the right column. 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. 5 plus 0 plus 0 equals 5. 7 plus 0 plus 0 equals 7. 1 plus 0 plus 5 equals 6. And 2 plus 2 equals 4.